autonomous driving. It's about more safety and more comfort in personal mobility. Many of our current vehicles already provide first self-driving features, such as Stop and Go Pilot, which drives the vehicle autonomously through traffic jams. It may take a few more years before our cars can drive fully autonomously on all roads and at all speeds. But the good news is that drivers, if they want to, will soon be able to let their vehicles carry out more and more autonomous maneuvers in more and more situations. First on the motorway, and then when parking. But what does a vehicle need in order to drive autonomously? First of all, it has to understand its environment in order to decide which action it needs to take. To do this, it needs a lot of data and information which is provided by its sensors. Currently, we use ultrasound, radars, and cameras to cover the vehicle's environment in all directions. In the future, additional sensor technologies may be added to this. Let us now take a closer look at the sensor setup of our current research vehicles. From the standard vehicle, we took the stereo camera, which accurately measures objects in front, such as stationary obstacles, other vehicles, or pedestrians, up to a distance of about 50 meters. It also determines the course of the lane. A long-range radar can look even farther into the distance. This car has two more of these radars installed on each side to look at traffic from the right or left, at junctions and intersections. There are also four short-range radars which check the immediate vehicle surroundings, which is useful at roundabouts and to safely pass cyclists. One camera looks to the front and checks traffic lights. Another one covers the back and helps us to improve localizing the vehicle together with the GPS system. The vehicle is assisted by digital maps, which are more precise and more detailed than the conventional navigation maps we are used to. They contain, for example, the position of stop lines or traffic lights, advance information, which is later validated with the onboard sensor system. In our cars, an intelligent drive controller analyzes and assesses data in real time and determines which driving maneuver best fits the situation. This central decision unit is not linked to any systems outside of the vehicle and is therefore protected from any undesired external access. We learned a lot in retracing the original long-distance drive by Berta Benz some 125 years ago with a self-driving car. And we discovered how we can transfer our systems from cars to trucks. We are not just testing our autonomous vehicles in Germany, but in other countries as well, so that one day they'll be able to master traffic around the globe. <laughs>